Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and you have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and um if you uh and sending whatever you need up towards your way and if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share i'll be greatly appreciated you know whatever vibes you're needing to get you through your days nights whatever you know your, your weeks months years whatever i'm sending that towards you a million times so anybody who's coming in with low level you know distracting blocking you know trying to destroy I'm sitting there right back as everything's heavenly protected, loved, and all that other nice stuff. But anyways, the video um, that I'm about to do today is Twin Flame 101. Sometimes you have to lose other people to strongly find your inner self. That is so true. Sometimes you got to lose people, you know, lose people to love yourself. You know, everything you lose is not a loss. You didn't lose nothing you didn't need. You know, and if anything that you have lost and is, you know, is worth having in your in your life a lot of times, sometimes you got to just break off and it's going to go through a healing trans, you know, trans transition into your life. You're going on a life path of healing as well as others are. You know, if it's worth, it'll come back, but it'll come back on a healing vibration of where y'all both on that same vibration. If not, if you see different things that's in your life that is really just depleting you, just like, oh Lord, here we go again. Or, you know, oh, this is like really stressing me out. This is really got me distracted and stuff like that you know a lot of times universe got put those in your life to give you life lessons like i said in all my other videos these are even your enemies are a part of your growth anything that even brings any kind of resistance you know make things rocky is a part of the growth these are the different things you're needing into your life you know now it's in that vibration before you know um universe was always focused on within 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 you know, um, isolation, you know, we're going through that right now. Isolation, you know, uh, what what else is solitude, self, self-care. You're all into those things right now. They're letting you know veils are getting thin. Things are getting crazy. Energies are being heightened, you know. So anything, you could be on that positive vibe. There's going to be somebody on that low-level vibe. You're going to have to understand you could be in your vibration of peace and that person would be a whole vibe of a chaos. You have to be able to understand. Are you, you know, be on that vibration are you taking it personal? No. You have to be in that vibration. If you want to be able to go day by day, even when somebody's going and directly coming at you, you have to be in that vibration. I cannot allow this to make it personal. This is nothing about me. This is about that person. And a lot of times it gets to that point now where things take place and it's like not feeling pity for nobody but it's just like i pray heavy for people like that because it has to be something very deep rooted that they really don't want to deal with and it, it'll be you know that you never know what a person has struggled with where they don't have that strength to be able to go head on with that you never know what somebody's going through and i have to be at that vibration now to where if when things get to that point it makes me really have to step back because i'll be at that point like this person about to make me lose my peace this person about to make me do this and it's like i had to get out that vibration that person can't make you do anything you don't allow them to do and a lot of times you have to understand that's where universe is telling you stop giving people a power to be able to transfer your emotions there'll be a lot of times where you can see like oh okay you at war that's not my war i'm giving you that i'm giving you that gun that knife back i'm giving you that gun back that this is yours but i'm gonna send some prayers over to your way because you got some serious things that you really need to reflect on if you don't want to do that that has nothing to do with me i'm doing my stuff over here i need you to do this over here i'm trying to be in my peace this all right here this ain't got nothing to do with me so i have to be able to allow allow that to let me go well, I'm going to let it go. If you don't want to let it go, I'm going to let it go. You're at your choice on doing that. But it has to be on that day-by-day -day basis is where you can look back. And even when the things that really piss you off. And you're going to be at that point where when you're on a part of your growth, you're going to be able to say, I appreciate those different things because it showed me where I need to allow myself to heal that. Because it will be just different things that will come up. We're showing you if, if it triggers you, that's telling you there's something that you need to heal from. Maybe you need understanding. Maybe you need patience. Maybe you need to disconnect. Maybe you need to go within. 
maybe you need to have understanding on why certain things are like that because it's at that point just because you have the strength to handle to focus on everything you're dealing with because you already know healing is not easy, an easy thing to do you be have that point where you're ready to pull all your hair out you're ready to fight god universe and anything else that will stood in your way and i'll put you in a situation you're in you have been in those emotions but it had to be at that point where you can't stay there if you want growth in your life you're gonna have to be there are gonna be some days you're gonna be happy there's gonna be some days you're gonna be positive but then there's gonna be days where you're gonna be a, like a bat out of hell <laughs> you know you're gonna be mad you're gonna be irate you're gonna be ready to fight you're gonna be sad you're gonna be depressed you're gonna be ready to end it all you know but those are the different things you know you're going to have to go with. But those will be those times where I had to really sit back. Some people don't have that strength to do that because you don't know what that person is dealing with. Just because you, you think you know a person, there's parts of people you don't know. It will be at that point where I really thought I knew that person. Ooh. The jokes on me. I didn't really know that person. You know, now I'm seeing what they're willing to go through because there'll be different things that'll take place into your life. They'll really make you go, hmm. You know, but it'll be at that point when you stay focused on you, you don't have time to be dealing with other people's nonsense. Now, it'll be different if people come in you in a corrective way. And it's like, hey, you know, I see you going through a lot of stuff, but you're really trying to deal with it head on. And I really admire you because the fact is, you know, you really giving me goals to be able to understand that person I deal with. It. And sometimes you may have the inside scoop of what that person is going through. And they still trying to bring a brighter day. They still trying to laugh instead of crying. You know, still trying to put their best foot forward. Or trying to find a positive perspective out of even a negative circumstance. They may be having to face with every day. When you allow yourself to say, my shortcomings, the things that are out of my control, what my enemies constantly do, I'm not going to allow that to beat me. If I have to disconnect from you, cut you off, or just, just stop talking to you altogether, just to be at peace with myself, I'm going to sacrifice you before I sacrifice me. I done seen the different results I got when I constantly kept sacrificing myself with people that will, that will keep on sacrificing me you know and so when I did those different things I really had to allow myself to know I've been going in deep with just with my thoughts and being able to understand you going through different healing into your life that you may not even understand yourself there'll be different times people not gonna understand your journey and that's okay sometimes you don't even understand your journey but as long as you going about what spirit has guided you towards it don't matter who don't believe you who's not for you who's not supporting you who's not there for you or whatever there'll be a lot of times when you going through so many changes it will be a lonely road that you are facing and it'll be okay you know, sometimes you have to be saying it's going to be okay. You know, I used to be that type of, type of person where people always know I was always having to be around a group of people. It's like all the changes I went through and all these massive daggone spiritual, you know, awakenings I went through. I used to, I don't even know how I was in a club. I don't know how I used to stay emotionally numb. Well, I was medically numb because I was always lit up on something, you know. But now it's just like... I had to be able to get my stuff. You know, you always got to even congratulate yourself on just even your little little comments that you have. Those tiny victories. You know, I can be at that point right now where I can step back and say, I went through a whole day. Even though negative thoughts came up or negative memories come up, I allowed myself to release that. Forgive myself for holding on to it. Forgive the person who did whatever they did to me, even if they weren't sorry. And be at peace with it and go. And I may be tired after that, but it was a tired where it wasn't even congratulate myself like, man, I'm tired as I don't know what. But it's a tired where it was productive. It was therapeutic because I allowed myself to start breaking away. I started allowing myself to shift my perspective and my perception. What do I choose? If I Am I projecting out something that's going to be very, you know, uh, nurturing, not towards myself, but towards other people? Can I be able to share my power with somebody to be able able to allow them to tinkle into theirs to become into their power i ain't giving my power away but being able to show me i can stand on my own you know even if i gotta be on my own i know i'm not all the way alone but i ain't gonna have i'd rather be by myself than have to worry about is there somebody in my life where i gotta second guess the position i play into your life are you being with me for loyalty are you being in my life to be a mole are you being in my life to try to distract what are you doing 
if it ain't a, you know if it, it if, if there's a positive or a negative into my life be able to see the lessons in my life is neither positive or negative but those lessons I need to be able to heal lessons I need to be able to go towards that next chapter certain uh, doors that I had to be able to have that courage to be able to close I had to be very aggressive with myself and be able to understand this is needing my attention but is it worth my attention no is it worth my energy no this is a distraction. It's making me to be able to deviate myself from what is important to be able to focus on. And this is not it. You have to be at that point where you have to understand there are certain people that are comfortable being chaotic. There's people that are comfortable being miserable. People are comfortable playing victim. People are comfortable with living in constant lies and chaos. You have to be okay with that. But then it'll be those people you really have to pray for. Or it'll be some folks where they keep finding themselves in situations like that. I've had people where, Rosalind, I need you to pray for me. For what? And it'll be, uh, I, I can't. And it'll be like, Dad, you can't pray. No, because these are the ones you keep putting yourself in. And these are the same exact situations where this is where your healing is going to take place. That Because I used to be that way. You know, I will do certain situations and end up having to, oh, well, God will forgive me later. Yeah, he'll forgive me later, but you're going to learn that lesson. You're going to get it, go have enough and keep doing that. You know, and there'll be those things where I was my own walking toxicity. I kept dealing with stuff. I was at times where I was self sabotaging. There'll be different times where I played victim very well. Now it's at that point where I'm just like, I'm not going to be a victim of my circumstances, but I'm going to be a conqueror over that. I'm going to be that mascot to be able to say, I'm overcoming that. Or be able to say, oh, I went through this and this is how I'm, I'm overcoming it every single day. This is what I had to be able to do. It, it, it becomes that you have to play a mind game with yourself. Like, am I going to allow this to stay on my focus? Or I'm going to be able to use this as leverage to be able to say, oh, let me stop allowing that. I ain't about to deal with that. Nope, nope. That ain't my responsibility. That's not my problem. Let me stay focused on what's important into my life. What I'm trying to grow into my life. What I'm trying to move forward into my life. And those have to be it. Even if it's just, what's your move? What, what's your goal in moving forward? To be at peace in my life. I can't be worried about losing you. If you really want to be in my life, you ain't gonna do no. You ain't gonna put me in a position for you to be lost in the first place. Let me go ahead and move. Do do what I do for me, because you have to be at that vibration. When people really want to see you do good, they are gonna want to do good with you. They're going to be that, you know, let me talk about this with you because I'm really trying to be at peace with this. How are you, you know, what what am I doing wrong or what do you feel like I can do where they're asking for advice? They're wanting to grow. Not that one is wanting to try to get up under there to try to see where they can block at. But one of the person where you can generally see, I'm trying here and I'm, I'm doing a little bit struggle. And they'll be like, you know what, let me go ahead and help you out. This is what I'm doing and blah, 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 blah. You know, go this, that, and the third and be able to do that. Okay, you know, this person is really trying in their life but then there'll be a person where you just trying to see all of a sudden you've been chaotic through this this time all of a sudden you want to be peaceful oh lord what you want well you trying to find an inside track okay you want something to go running back and tell somebody or oh you want to sit up here you know you got different things where you have you come up with different scenarios or oh that person trying to block oh this person trying to distract oh this is this and that and it's like what is it it's like instead of having to go through all that what is it what you need to do instead of going out through that long out what, what's going on what do you need to do okay forgive and let go keep people at a distance oh I gotta cut that person off okay be able to forgive but not allow them to come back in because a lot of times people say when you're you're forgiving you know, oh, I can keep doing that person that way because they feel like you're an easy target. You know, a lot of times people think empath got idiot written all up on the top of your forehead where they're using your kindness for weakness and they know they can take advantage of you. But these are the situations that you can say, you know what, I'm glad I did go through these different things. Now I can know when somebody's sitting up here manipulating me. Or now I can know when somebody is kind of always overstepping their boundaries. Anytime you put boundaries up and people keep doing that, then you go, oh, no, I just told you I'm not going to do that. But I, 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 okay, I'm not going to do that with you. You know, you can speak, you can be in your power without having to be combative with people. You can be in your power and not having to argue with people. I, there'll be different times where, okay, well, I got to go ahead and, and project this out and go ahead and do it. And it was just that you didn't have to do that, but you chose to do it anyway. Go ahead and change your, no, I need it, you know, just like I get stressed out, I need a cigarette. No, 
you got to change that verbiage. You wanted a cigarette. You didn't need to. You could have found different ways. You could have worked out. You could have put a walk. You could have sat up here and listened to music. You, you could have did this. But you chose that as being your way of dealing with your issues. Now it's just like when I'm going through different stuff, I st- take a look back and I say, you remember how you used to do it? This is letting you know. Because a lot of times we'll be in a situation and get aggravated because like it hasn't changed. Sometimes God puts you in situations to see... It, I need you to change not for you to change the situation but for let that situation change you there'll be different things where I've gone through and make me want to roll a B like I really want to go talk to Uncle Bob you know I'm like Uncle Bob Marley you know Shabba we want to talk to Shabba Ranks whatever you know we really wanted to roll up some herb but now it's just like I didn't do it you wanted me to you know go pop a pill at you know different times or whatever like that wanted me a Zanny or whatever like that just to calm my nerves or I wanted a cigarette, or I wanted a drink, and now it's like, you know, you're dealing with some very, very traumatizing stuff into your life, where this is how you used to deal with different things, and it's not, you know, saying I'm better than anybody who still chooses to do that, I'm like, no, that, I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do, I'm not placing judgment on you, you know, people are like, oh, she thinks she's better than you, no, obviously, you think I'm better than you, because I don't choose to do stuff that way, you know, but it wasn't about me bragging about stuff like that but it was just about me congratulating myself I you know I was smoking weed on and off since I was like 12 years old but I didn't get serious down with it until I came down south and started doing that like around 2012 2013 and just stopped doing that like about you know what a year or two or three ago you know and it'll be in those different times because it'll be different times I was really stressed out and I slipped up and I told people there have been different times I don't went off the wagon and did that that's not something I was proud to do, but now it's just like when I can sit up here and say I've really dealt with a lot of different things to where I didn't need those access to my life for me to numb it. Because that means I'm using, I'm needing an escape to have to deal with certain things that I really need to go head on in so I don't have to deal, keep dealing with this stuff anymore. And for me to do that, I had to be able to start disconnecting. So that means I'm, I'm working on finding my inner peace with doing that. And when you're doing that every day, you, you can be able to be be able to appreciate this. And it's just like, you know what, I'm dealing with some real hardcore stuff and I'm allowing myself to cry it out. I'm allowing myself to speak to God about it. You know, because there's a lot of times where God wants you to stop, you know, God and spirit and universe wants you to come to them before you start going to friends. You know, a lot of times you I mean you got some people out there that's really there for you. But there's a lot of time people are in your life that will send you down a path just because the fact is they don't want you getting any better. Or it'll be just a time you may have made them mad and they still holding this against you and they're gonna purposely send you down the way because they already see you dealing in emotions, you still working on emotions. So since you're doing that, I'm a really about to see you I'm a really about to see how you about to really be living in your pain. So I'm I'm really about to send you up Isha Creek without a paddle. And you are heading that way just because the way you're dealing with things, you're really working through emotion instead of not working through a logic. But now it's at that point where you, when you know you're really getting re- aggressive with yourself and you really want to see, I'm really trying to be in my best version of myself. And for me to be able to do that, I'm going to have to get very strategic. There's going to be a lot of people that's just going to have to be out my life. There's going to be a lot of people, a lot of things I'm not going to have to be able to indulge in. It will be a lot of different things you know it's just like you are you they always say you know i heard a saying before it's like you show me your friends and i'll show you 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 know and it was just like shoot let me go back in the day it'll be like people i used to roll bees up with it'll be people i used to gossip with or be our people cut up with there'll be people i personally you know you come in there and i'm like oh you come in here to start some mess i'm about to definitely end it now it's just like everything ain't worth my energy a lot of people i just did not need to be around there'll be different people who used to call my phone and it'll be like oh you you know i don't need to answer the phone and then i do now you trying to work you know now god trying to tell you now you you remember why i told you not to answer the phone you be all those different things so this is at that time where you're in your life 
where you experienced all these life lessons. Now it's trying to see. Now here's the pop quiz. Because you done changed so much. And now you know history is going to start repeating itself. It's going to bring in the same, those same people. They may have been toxic as I don't know what. They didn't mind their business. They weren't about everybody else's life except their own. They projecting on other people. They, you know, keeping up drama. Keeping up this. Bringing you in drama. You can be all cool. And next thing you know, they bringing somebody up in here. Want to start, you know, popping off with you. And you don't even know what's going on. But just somebody brought you into that. But now it's at that point where you are really learning hard hardcore lessons and God want to really get serious with you with that now you know the reason why these things are happening or whatever what he's trying to test you on but it's just all about have you learned your lesson through these situations never be able to see the lining of some kind of blessing in the skies of what you're going through you're stop seeing everything from a negative or a positive and there's a lot of things that went through your life that could be very hurtful very harmful towards your you know towards your person towards your mental towards your emotional this is where it's strengthening your even your mental health whether you had to bring some kind of tragedies in that's really strengthening your mental health you know and you're seeing these different things where where you know you're approving and stuff like that and a lot of times it may be drawn out and a lot of times it is showing you you gotta have patience because a lot of things gonna need it's gonna take a process and you, you don't like those two p's those are like cuss word patience and process and you know and you having to really be able to trust those main factors and when you're allowing yourself to do that, there may be somebody that God will allow you to see that is doing totally opposite of that. And you'll see all the different things that's taking place in that life. And it can really you and you're seeing that how that can be very harmful to somebody. And you can preach it all day. But it's like they say, you can lead a, a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. You know? You're going to be able to do that, but we're all learning our life lessons in some kind of way. Sometimes, you know, a lot of times we're all going to have to learn the hard way. And sometimes we're going to have to learn it even harder when we see the signs was telling us where change needs to take place. Healing needs to play, take place. Letting go needs to take place. But this is at that time where you can't be focused on other people like that. You only can be only focused on you. You're only in charge of you. Now, it would be different if you have little ones. But I'm talking about when with me and my situation, I don't have little ones. My little ones became big ones. So, you know, and they're out on their own. But I have even when, you know, things didn't work out between me and my children, I still wish them, you know, protection on their life. I still wish the best for that, for their life, you know, no matter what they have done. You know, I still had to be able to hold my heart responsible for how I felt. You know, it would be anything that you still hold harbinger guilt, grudges, animosity towards this letting you know you're putting power in certain things that was just fated to happen that way. It may be hurtful, it may be hateful, it make you want to come out of bag on somebody, but this is at that point, forgive that situation, forgive that person, let that go. You want you you want good in your life that cannot happen until you let that go. And so it, it may take you it may take some days every day when you you start thinking anything that will come up where the devil wants you discarded, distracted, you know, fo focused on everything that is not you know, that's totally out of your control except what is needing your your focus on. So he will keep you into a limbo of what that person did, what that person said, what that situation was, how it hurt you, this, this, and this, and that, and the third, where it's just like, you know what, this is really keeping me in a low vibration, and I really want to have better into my life. If this person, if I'm not seeing this person no more, there's a reason why God took them out of my life like that. It had to be faded in some kind of way, but whatever they got going on, I wish them well. Because you already know whatever you put out to somebody is what you get back. And karma karma keeps you in line. So you have to be able to understand even when somebody's doing some hateful stuff to you. Even when people constantly keep doing things that are not forgiven for. A lot of times people don't want you to forgive and they want you to stay mad. And you have to understand that. Oh, you want me to stay mad at you. You trying to do something to keep me pissed at you. Okay, that's a distraction. I'm going to go ahead and forgive you. I'm Being that universal love language, people know how all day when you keep cussing at them and doing stuff like that, that gives them power. They have power by that. People have to understand, when you're talking about a narcissist, when you putting people on front street, number one, the things that narcissists fear is you speaking truth. When you start telling truth that they don't like that because their whole life is 
not true, put it that way, and not get any deep in that. So when you speak on universal love language, when you allow oh, this person that pissed me off and this person, you're doing exactly what they want you to do. They love that kind of attention, whether it's good attention or bad attention, they still got that attention. So when you're allowing yourself to be in that universal love language, that person has some kind of things that they're dealing with that has nothing to do with me even if it has me involved it has nothing to do with me because I let that go I let God deal with that I put you know I put my peace into that if that person want to still deal with that I'm sending peace towards their way because they truly need it if they're still you know struggling to make peace with that struggling to let that go so that's on that vibe of that you know usually I you know usually I can speak about narcissistic things all day if that's what God wants me to do it's not like bringing my personal stuff in here but it's like I don't make peace with that but if there's different things where you're still understanding what a narcissist is because it's like when I first started this like six years ago I didn't know what a narcissist was I didn't know what a sociopath psychopath sadist masochist all those different things I didn't know what that was, you know, uh, what, what is it, toxic, you know, uh, soul ties, karmic cycles, repetitive cycles, I didn't know nothing about that, and I'm getting hit to that, so it'll be different things like, hey, I need you to make content about uh, soul tide, or, you know, breaking, you know, karmic bonds, or trauma bonding, or codependency, these are the d d different things I had to really learn about, so if it'll be different times where, okay, I'm going to make content about that, and it'll be different, but this is, this this video this is just like I don't make peace with that. I still have made peace with that. Even if I'm doing a video like, hey, I make peace with that. But these are the different things you need to look for to see if you're in a narcissistic connection with somebody. Or do you have narcissistic traits? I can tell people, yes, I had narcissistic traits. I'm, I was exposed to different stuff like that into my life. I thought it was normal. You know, this is what I passed on to my children. And then when I had to get smacked with reality and knowing I don't send something toxic to my kids and hoping and praying this is not going to be what they're breeding into their next generation, I had to be able to put this into a stop. But for me to be able to do that, I had to be real with myself. Like I wasn't the best mom in the world. They don't have instructions to different things like that. But for me to be able to go through that, that I had to be that person but for them they still wanted to be in that that vibration of still seeing that old me even though I left that old me alone but I had to understand it okay if that's the part that you want to keep consistent of me if that's what you want to project about me I have to be okay with that I know I'm not living that life but it's like I did what I tried to do I tried to be a better parent that's not what you wanted I had to be able to disconnect with that even though that hurt my heart I had to be a, oh, be okay God was like if it happened this way it had no choice you can't keep forcing yourself to be in somebody's life that clearly don't want you there or they want to be in your life when it's selective and there is appeasing to them and then when it's not they jump out you have to be able to be that person where okay they're at that age where they don't need you in your life you know and you have to be able to be that person for you not to get hurt and for you not to be manipulated or abused or any kind of way you're going to have to disconnect from that you know and be okay with it and just pray on it and whatever God has best for that is going to be that way and I had to be able to be on that but it's at that point you know you have to be able to part ways with a lot of people in a lot of situations even it's a part of yourself if you want to become a better person you know what you're trying to bring into your life you know what vibration you're trying to be on when you know you're going to be in the best version of yourself you have to understand that it's not going to be easy you know, it's not going to say, oh, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard, because you're putting that in your mindset. I won't be able to overcome this. I won't be able to conquer this. And you're going to have to understand, this is not going to be for the weak at heart. There are going to be different days where I'm going to be stuck in confusion. I might be plum dumb where I have to dumb it down dot com for myself and ask God for some kind of clarity on what do I need to do. But anything that I know that I may be second guessing with myself, I'm going to go to God first. Or anytime, I'm going to just go to God regardless. You know, now I do that. Because it'll be different time I'm like oh damn I messed up you say you should have took it in him first because you made moves off of emotions instead of logic you know and now it's at that point where okay am I making a, a move where it's going to be a very heavy massive investment for me or am I going to make a situation that's going to be a, a another setback into my life now because you're getting very serious with yourself so you know every choice every every day you're going to have some kind of line of test where it's going to tell you what was you know what was the lesson for today it'll be like 
uh, what show was it? Like Pound Puppies. You know, I was an 80s girl, you know, born in 1977. So I used to watch Punky, Punky Brewster, My Little Pony, Strawberry Shortcake, you know, he, uh, She Ra, He Man, Skeletor, Thundercats, and all that stuff. And a lot of those, even, what was it, Pound Puppies? And, you know, I used to love watching those, you know. And there'll be different things where certain shows like that had, like, um, you know, what was the positive thing that, that came out of this. It's like, oh, this was a subliminal off of that. So these are the different things that's taking place where it wants you to understand what 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 do you get out of that vibration? What do you understand? And when those are the different situations that are taking place, it wants you to be able to grow from that. And these are the different things that's taking place where you're going to have to cut certain things off for you to be able to grow. You're going to have to be able to forgive a lot of different things if you want to remain in your peace. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Um, let me see. Let me I'll give a post notification shout out to Dusty Grind. Um, uh, heathen, I'm breathing fire. Much love to you. I love your day. And uh, Spirit Warrior 11. If you're new to my channel, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. You know, go ahead and give me your feedback on the video. Uh, what, what, what do you resonate with, or what insight do you get out of it, or even add towards yours? I love to be able to interact with y'all. It's truly, you know, it's truly uh, educating towards me i think it's very therapeutic when we can speak on the different things because as soon as i said it i said 12 12 um you're going through those different things into your life and you know just being able to speak on things you know a lot of times we don't have that voice to where we feel comfortable enough and it's not saying you're weak at anything but there may be times where you've been judged harshly you know for your opinion or different things like that so i love to be able to say you know there's no judgment here you know as long as it's like it's all about how you deliver your message as long as you are not being you know progressive what, what is it what is it positive aggressive what is it passive aggressive that's what i meant to say you know passive aggressive are you trying to be disrespectful you know because a lot of times I, I just won't even speak on it i'll just block you and just i have no that, that but it's just all about positivity just being able to understand we're all here for growth we're all here for understanding and we're all here for healing and that's what i'm trying to project that's what i'm here on my platform what i'm trying to do is just being able to educate and heal other people as well as you're healing yourself because you know there's nothing that we can't learn from each other you know it's all about student teacher situation whereas you know it's a vibration of transference you know where it wants to be on a positive way so I would love to be able to have your insight off of that. I have, you know, I always leave my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking, um, being able to, like I said, you know, uh, just being able to share the different things you, you, uh, you know, you may have gone through or different things you may have questions on. If it, you know, it's if it's up to you know universe to be me be able to help you i'm gonna help you out the best way i possibly can or if it's just somebody you need to be able to vent and listen you know somebody to listen to you and just try to be a, you know understanding towards that i'm you know i do my best at that as well you know whatever we speak on is confidential um i also have a section on my you know my videos where i put my shorts down there as well you know it's all about you know uh humor you know, uh, spiritual, you know, vibrations, whether it's affirmations, uh, mantras, or even little split second, you know, uh, meditations and stuff to really get you through your day. You know, you can listen to it a couple of times and stuff like that, or just certain things to make you laugh or just remind you as a friendly reminder. I have those as well. Or if you're going through, you know, a huge thing and you really don't understand, you know, everybody's going through a massive, you know, uh, uh, transformation right now, whatever it is. And it's like energy is like up here <laughs> you know so it's like a lot of things it's like solitude isolation self-care you know heal let go cut cords all that stuff so you're going through a lot of those different things so uh i put those on there on my on my channel as well you can just go ahead and explore it as well as you know i put my podcast there you know that you you may uh been able to be interested in just to listen to you know i try to share those as much as i can um, and if you're feeling generous enough to drop a donation, also the Cash app is there as well. And whatever kind of vibrations you're needing, you know, whether it's consistency, you know, productiveness, you know, faith within yourself, belief, all those different things, I'm sending that towards you, 20, you know, 20 million times fold, you know, being able to not sleep on yourself, stay woke, you know, 
uh, enemy and the devil sees your potential as well as your light. So don't do any and everything to make sure you give up today. You know, a blessing might come up in there tomorrow. So stay consistent. Stay consistent with yourself. So, you know, um, please be safe and responsible with every single thing you do. You know, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know those things to really take somebody a long way. And just because you have positive intentions for that, you know, towards other people, when you give that to it, can take them a long way. And just for you as well, it take you even further. So much love to you. God bless, I say. Uh, shalom. Uh, namaste. God bless.